Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most common mistakes I see people talk about with the Garmin Instinct Solar Watch, and that is what happens to the watch face when you go into battery saver mode. So first, let me start by saying I'm not going to be talking about all of the battery saver features, but I am going to be talking about the watch face feature and what it can do for you. I'm going to be using my Garmin Instinct Solar. I guess I should say first generation Garmin Instinct Solar because my understanding is they are coming out with a second generation of the Instinct in 2022. This video should work for anybody who's got one of the solar models. You don't have the battery saver functionality currently on uh, the non-solar models, so I'll mention that as well. So what exactly are we talking about here? I'm not going to go through all the specifics. Let's say we want to put our watch in battery saver mode. Now I want you to pay attention. I've got five days of battery life left on my watch. I'm going to press the control button. This is going to take us to our control wheel. There's a couple different ways you can go into battery saver mode, but in my case, I've got it set in my control wheel. So I'm going to battery saver is off. I'm going to press GPS to turn it on. And you'll see that now instead of five days left, I've got 13 days of battery life left, which is great. But when I go back to my watch face, I don't see a whole lot of information. I lost all of the things that I was looking at on my watch face when it wasn't in battery saver mode. When you get your Garmin Instinct Solar Watch in, by default, this is what happens when you go into Battery Saver. All you're going to see is the time, the day, and the date, and how much battery life you've got left. And for some of you, that might be fine. For somebody like me, this is boring. I'm not seeing a whole lot of information when I look at my watch face. Now, I can still use the up or down buttons to go look at some information, like the moon phase, whatever you've got set as your widgets. But I want to be able to glance at my watch and see more than just this information. And this is where I see a lot of people complaining, but you've actually got the functionality to change this if you want to, and that's what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna press and hold the menu button, and then we're gonna use the up or down button to go to settings, press GPS to select settings, and then again, we're gonna use the up or down button to go to power manager. Now remember, I had 13 days of battery life left. The first option in Power Manager is Battery Saver. We're going to press GPS to select Battery Saver. And then if we go down to Edit and press GPS to select Edit, the very first option is Watch Face. And you can see that by default it's set to low power, which basically means when you go into Battery Saver, your watch face is going to go into low power mode. That's what we just saw a minute ago with the time, date, and battery indicator. But if we press GPS, we have the option to say, don't change my watch face. Now on a full charge, you're gonna lose about 11 days of battery life if you choose this option. I'm gonna go ahead and choose it. And now when we go back, we'll see that instead of 13 days, I'm only gonna get 10 days of battery life in Battery Saver using this option. But I've got all the features that were on my watch face before I put on Battery Saver. Whether it's on Battery Saver or not, you're going to be able to see all of your values on your watch face. The one thing I should mention about that is the one things that you won't be able to see, depending on how you have your cell phone set up, is if you've got things like the heart rate turned off during Battery Saver, or you've got your phone disconnected during Battery Saver, you might not be able to see those data elements. But most of them, things like step tracking and my barometric pressure, my moon phase, or solar uh, charging, all of that stuff you can see in Battery Saver. Now, I did lose some battery life, so I'm only gonna get 10 days versus 13 days, but for somebody like me, I'm okay with losing that battery life because I wanna look at my watch and still see some relevant information whether I'm in Battery Saver or not. I hope that makes sense. It's just a simple setting. You can pick and choose how you want to do it. If you're out and you're hiking and you really want to preserve some battery life, I can see where you'd want to put the watch face in low power mode. But for your everyday user, I would think you want to just leave it the same. Save some battery life, but still get some functionality out of your watch. As always, I hope this video helps out. Thanks for watching.